We took pictures of the rock, and, uh, you know, with a bit of expression to his face, which, which helps you when you realize the design. You can kind of see the character in the film rather than just a, a static look. And we did many different versions, ranging from very subtle to wild. It helps to show the range of, well, it could be this crazy, because then it, it answers everyone's questions. Then you can kind of go through and, you know, hone out, well, it's cool, but it's too much, or that's too subtle, we're not gonna see that. Richie Alonzo, along with Jeff Dawn, put the makeup on the rock once everyone had decided on what level the appliances should be. Job and I'll be all out B M F O P. The baddest motherfucker on the planet. Six o'clock in the morning, our last day shooting in beautiful Prague. We have three stages of makeup. During this five minute fight, we'll see him go through these three stages. Um, one of the stages is just his knuckles bursting out. Another stage is appliances on his cheeks here, here, and on his jawline. We put some fake teeth in his mouth and make him not look so white, so beautiful, so Hollywood movie starish. And uh, so that's the, that's the second stage. Here, you want to put in? No. <laughs> sure? Germs. Germs. They're germs. germs. Then the third stage is what we're doing right now, and that will include a forehead piece, We'll be covering up his eyebrows, putting new eyebrows on. It's that old, the technology. That's a very rubbery feel, so everybody knows. Feels like dried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like chicken, too. There's better materials nowadays, such as silicone and gelatin. The problem is that they don't breathe. And with heat, with action, they don't hold up. They will literally melt. A gelatin piece will melt off your face. The way we end up blending all of this together is, ideally, you have each piece slightly overlapping each other. That way, you only have one line to deal with to cover up, to camouflage, instead of two lines if they barely meet each other. And we use a material, a couple of materials. One of them is called Bondo. It is a thick, gooey material that looks like Bondo. And it's actually a thickened um, adhesive. And we're able to... ...paint, use many different colors for that, and continue to add texture, shine, dull it down in places if it's too shiny and uh, do everything we can to make it look like skin, make the eye believe that it's skin on camera. Our first layer of paint was applied with sponges and brushes. We added a kind of a thick layer to take away the, the foam color coming through. Now we're going in there with an airbrush, just feathering it out, blending into his actual skin color, taking the the fake looking foam and trying to blend it into real looking skin. This is the first step of it. This is the same material, this acrylic paint that I use to cover his tattoo, whether it be just one tattoo or the tattoos that cover a quarter of his body, his upper body. And uh, usually about three different coats of this, three different colors of it gives it a realistic three-dimensional skin tone. What Richie's doing now is he is airbrushing with some inks the veins that he had sculpted, because Richie sculpted all of these pieces for rock. He is uh, intensifying the three-dimensional veins on his forehead with this airbrush ink. What I'm doing now is applying the eyebrows. These are real hair eyebrows that have been hand-stitched. Each hair has been hand-stitched onto this very fine lace material to match up with Rock's real eyebrows. I use this photo as reference just so that I can remember where his real eyebrows are underneath those appliances. And we're applying a little bit of spirit gum.
Then it's up to you. About four hours later, <laughs> finished product. Great job. Thank you guys very much. Rock got into it. He really enjoyed looking in the mirror, seeing that transformation. He was just the ultimate professional. Yeah.